Shalom everyone. It is time to feed on Jesus. Jesus our daily bread, our daily feed. Food that endures to eternal life, to eternity. Amen. And our Bible verse for meditation today is taken from the Gospel of Luke. Luke chapter 17 verses 21 to verses 20 to 21. Luke chapter 17 verses 20 to 21 and I read now when the he was asked by the Pharisees when the kingdom of God will come he answered them and said the kingdom of God does not come with observation nor will they say see here or see there for indeed the kingdom of God is within you set yourself the kingdom of God is within me. Amen. And our theme for reflection today is say the abundance within you. Say the abundance within you. Amen. Brethren, when you were younger, were you often scolded for not finishing all your food or leaving the lights and fun on when you left your room? Were you constantly reminded that there are people starving in the world that electricity costs a lot of money and that money doesn't grow on trees? Now, do you find yourself telling your child the same thing? It's not your fault. We are naturally conscious of lack. But Jesus isn't amen the jesus that we feed on each day isn't conscious of lack of lack amen even in the midst of lack he was always conscious of abundance remember the little boys five loaves and two fish what did jesus do when those were placed in his hands did he say what do i do or what do you expect me to do with so little? No, his eyes were not on the natural. His his eyes was his eyes were not on the phys, physical. His eyes were on the kingdom of God, where there is always abundance. So in his hands. The little boy's lunch was multiplied and 5,000 men, not counting women and children, were fed that day. Amen. God doesn't want you to be conscious of the lack in your natural circumstances. He does not want you to live by how much you earn or how much you have in your bank accounts. Now, I am not encouraging you to spend lavishly beyond your means. No. I'm saying that God wants you to be conscious of the abundance of resources in his kingdom right now. Ah, where is the kingdom of God, you ask? Or where is the kingdom, you ask? As long as you have received Jesus as your savior, this kingdom is in you amen jesus said the kingdom of god is within you this means that the kingdom of god is not some physical place it is within you and it's where the abundance of resources is amen so if you want to experience abundance of your life be conscious first of the abundance inside you then what is inside you will become a reality on the outside amen beloved god doesn't want you to be conscious of the lack you see outside you he wants you to be conscious of the abundance within you because his kingdom is within you god's kingdom of abundance God's kingdom 
of supply of provision is within you so when you see this when you believe in this you see this abundance flowing out from you to bless you to bless your family and to bless people around you dearly beloved in the lord jesus jesus is the only bread that feeds eternally jesus is the only one that bless you or loves you with his kingdom therefore proclaim the abundance of the kingdom in you and pour it out and on people and see you reigning in life you see yourself reign above the lack in you amen make time to feed on jesus with me each day shalom shalom bye bye